Right, thank you for joining The Average Golfer. Um, we're going to look at a very interesting set of, well, two irons from Callaway's release for 2019. Uh, we're going to look at the Apex and the Apex Pro uh, CF19 models. And I have to say, they're absolutely stunning sets of irons. Let's start off with that claim, uh, statement rather, before we go any further. But they might look good, but how do they perform? And that's the interesting bit. And I went out there on the course and I've also collected dry ball data to try and establish uh, that things perform well in the hands of the average golfer and what the differences were between the two sets as well. But before we do that, let me throw some images up on screen and let you have a little look in terms of um, aesthetics and what you think of the two. And here's the Apex Pro, first of all. As you can see, high chrome finish, um, forged head, little bit of matte behind the ball, minimalistic in its markings. And I don't know about you, but that absolutely is an eye catcher. It looks a belting uh, club for my eye at least. I'll throw up the, um, the Apex Standard product now for you. Um, matte finish on this, it is not as nice. It is a stunning looking club, but I've got to say, I'm always uh, drawn towards the high chrome finish. I, I wish they'd really done that with this uh, standard model as well. There's a little black uh, rubber element, I suppose you might call it, insert in the back there. But still, a very, very classy looking iron. Uh, like I said, I wish they'd have made them both uh, high chrome finish, to be honest with you. But anyway, that's just a very much a personal opinion. But classy in its looks. And these are two different irons uh, are only slightly different um so players distant iron i think you might categorize the uh, standard apex product um and then you've got the ultimate sort of players performance iron in the apex pro and the interesting thing is there is a combination set of both these two so once again you can go i think through to seven iron in the uh, through to the three iron in the apex standard and then in the shorter irons through to the wedges you can set yourself up with the apex pro so there's plenty of logic in there as well but what have they done what have they packed into these two in terms of uh, technology as ever that you'd expect from a callaway product well this is i'm going to throw this image up on screen for you now and this is the first thing we're going to look at a 1025 forged carbon steel body urethane microspheres which we'll talk about MIMD tungsten weighting, spin control VFT, and 360 cup face. Well, first of all, anybody who loves a forged feel, then they've made a forged body uh, on this club. Um, this urethane microspheres is an interesting one for me. So what they've done again, we've seen this in the uh, in the Big Bertha product as well, they released recently in the irons is placed an element of material, microspheres, urethane microspheres, thousands of air bubbles within this product, which again, dampen unwanted vibration. Now, I, I've seen it in the, um, in, the, in the Big Birth Ryans, and once again, I've seen it here. It really does have an impact on feel, um, without any shadow of a doubt. It is a massive, massive import, increase in terms of the performance level in that element of these irons, and I really did like that. 360 cut face technology which you've seen before it promotes high ball speeds and it's something that they've brought into this apex set of irons and we'll see in terms of dry ball data how much impact that has uh, on the product itself and then we've got the tungsten weighting and again tungsten weighting very much put in the exact position and location that they want it to be in to enhance performance in terms of the different irons and what you would be looking for from the longer irons compared to that of the shorter irons. And then this uh, uh, VFT spin control, which is something that has often been a problem with, um, and these are far from game improvement irons, but the minute you sort of put sort of performance enhancing fast ball speeds off the face, then you're losing elements of perhaps spin. VFT spin control has paid some concentration to that element and again introduce technologies to try and bring that spin number to where you'd want it to be certainly in those shorter irons and then when you go to the pro model it's very much almost exactly the same story but built into a smaller more compact head and again um 
they changed the 360 cup face technology from it appears in the longer irons but they changed that from seven iron i think it is or eight iron actually eight iron down to the wedges the face is changed it's not all about ball speeds they're not all about maximum ball speed they're looking at more uh, distance control uh, the right spin number the, the things that you'd be looking for as a player's iron i suppose in those shorter scoring irons so that's the only real difference i can see between the two in terms of the technology because they really are for this type of iron putting a lot of technology into those clubs so what happened when i went out there on the course and that was the first bit was to see what these things did. And what will I start with? I'm debating on where, I'm debating on how, how, how much praise to give these things from the outset. Do we, is it a slow build or do we just go in and tell you how it is? I'm just gonna go in and tell you how it is, I think. A lot of people are gonna like these clubs. Fans of the Apex range are gonna absolutely adore these clubs because what they've done is they've took the Apex model and they've ramped it up massively, in my opinion. Um, First of all, let's go with the Apex Pro in terms of sound and feel. They've produced uh, the, the iron that has, it is, it's been going towards this way for a long time, where they're producing players' irons with forgiveness, with fantastic sound and feel. Uh, once again, these urethane microspheres that are packed into this uh, 1025 head uh, produce an awesome sound, awesome feel. It is so soft in the Apex Pro. It's marginally, it is different in the standard product. It's not as buttery soft that you feel in the Apex Pro as you'd expect. Um, having said that, it's marginal because the feel in the standard product, standard Apex product is again, really, really nice. They differ in terms of what you'd, as you'd expect in terms of size and the compactness of the design. Um, is noticeably small on the Pro design. But having said that, the performance, because it got the performance out of both products, I never really was put off by the smaller design, but I only had it in the 7 iron, and maybe uh, a 4 iron, which I had in the Apex uh, Standard. If I had that in the Apex Pro, maybe I'd start to get a little bit scared of the product. And the combo set seems to be an almost ideal scenario in my mind. But uh, out there, it performed perform really, really well. Distance was... Um, very very similar difference in lofts in these two products but for me not a huge difference in terms of performance what i've seen out there to be quite honest with you in both of these probably half a club difference if anything uh, but then into the driving range at four golf chester and we started it in some balls to try and get some dry ball dates to back that up and this is what we came up with and the first set of numbers we'll start off with is with the pro version so pro version at seven iron 108 ball speed on average so again uh, that's what you'd expect from this kind of product 22.4 arguably launching a little bit too high for me um five eight spin fantastic spin number number of balls over six thousand you will know people who watch the channel i don't achieve a great spin number and that is bang on the button really really good for me and 150 carry at the performance of it was as you'd expect from traditional loft and very, very consistent indeed. I'll throw up the, now the, sta uh, the Apex standard product a lot faster in terms of ball speed. And again, the stronger loft on this will have something to do with that. 113 on average, but balls up there at 116, 117 ball speed. A better ball flight with it for me, but again, that'll be the stronger loft, 20.8. Uh, uh, can you believe the spin number? I mean, 6.2 spin for me with a seven iron, and a number of balls over 6,000 in terms of spin. It's never seen from me, and it's certainly never seen from me from an iron of this type. 34 peak height, 157 overall. And I'm gonna finish off with one other set of numbers because I also had the Apex standard in a four iron. 120 ball speed, 16.1 launch, 28 spin, and 188 on average in terms of distance. I was leaning over there reading off a computer, as you can probably tell. And like I said, the interesting thing for me there probably was the four iron. The four iron was as easy to hit almost as the seven iron, slightly longer shaft as you'd expect. So a little bit uh, lost in control or harder to control that club head. But feel in the four iron was a great way to judge this whole set really. It was, like I said, very, very gr good feel, as easy to use as the four iron. The thing is with all these irons for me, is that we're reaching a position where the sort of 
player's iron as the Apex Pro is, is no longer the player's iron as what we'd have normally associated it with, in my opinion. Yes, they're small in their profile, but they're packed full of technology, which is making them a lot different. I'd describe that, it's it's not a traditional blade, there's a bit of muscle back in there, but um, in terms of its overall profile and size, it's very similar to a, a traditional blade. And the performance out of it is so, so different. And the consistency of performance is so, so different as well. For someone like me at my level to perform as I am doing with these clubs, um, finding that sweet spot, consistent performance, consistent distance, absolutely superb. The issue I have is that when you use the Apex standard product, slightly bulkier in size, but only slightly. And then when you get down to the four end, a four iron end again, uh, the confidence inspiring, the fact that that ball is flying out there, the fact that the, uh, the feel is so good, is that's when, for me, I wouldn't necessarily go to the Apex Pros at my level, because I don't think, I, I, why bother, is, is, is the ultimate thing for me. Why bother when there's the Apex Standard product, which is so nice in feel, uh, so good in performance, that for me, the idea would be Apex Standard product, and then maybe this combo set in the shorter irons I'd look at. Because blown away by performance, blown away by the feel, uh, blown away by consistency, blown away by the irons. I honestly really, really impressed. It's where I've been wanting to see for a long, long time is this, this set of irons that, like I said, packs all those things that technology offer generally in a bigger, bulkier club to help average golfers like me uh, packed into a smaller compact iron which is what really I like in terms of on the eye in terms of the profile and they've done it in abundance honestly it is I can't speak out. both of the sets are absolutely superb how do you knock them how do you do a review and knock a set of irons like that it is very very difficult to pick fault and for that reason I'm not going to so more importantly, as ever, that's my opinion. Maybe I got lucky. You go out there, try them yourselves, and come back and comment on this video. Because for me, Callaway have come up with uh, an absolute belting range for 2019. They really have. And I can't see anybody trying any of these products and being disappointed. I honestly can't. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you like the video. Comments down below. I'll do my best to reply. Thank you, as ever, for watching. And uh, enjoy 2019.